time in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and in the hallway. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? You got the heart-shaped locket. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? You got the worn dagger. Room under renovations. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. and put it on your phone's keychain. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle champs 98. Oh, I did that. There it comes. <laughs> Keep it interesting. A little bit. Azriel, the king's son, Heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Azriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed it into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier and carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Ezreal reached, reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Ezreal holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His death spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us.
king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will give us hope. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Right now there's the elevator that you can use. I don't know how many healing items you have though. Yeah, then you go back down. Yeah, you still got a decent amount, but you only got four healing items. Is that Glamberger healing too? Yeah, so it's at four. You got the two crab apples and then so the Glamberger. You want me to go back? Um, it's entirely up to you. How do I get there? Um, you'll have to go through that elevator, which will take you back through the one spot, and you just go down. Yeah. And you walk all the way around. See the elevator? How I get to the bad guy? No, if you go up, take the elevator, uh, and then you can uh, you can do whatever you want to with the dagger and the locket. Um, I do recommend equipping the dagger though. The locket is worse than what you have though, so I wouldn't worry about that. And then go down. Now you're back out. That elevator they're taking me to um, Well you'll have to go down. No, it's just a restaurant. There's absolutely nothing in there. I'll have to go down. Because you can that's where you leave. What's this elevator go to? Because it never took it to me. What's, what's Yeah, you can buy healing items in there. You don't need anything above the Glam Burger. Because you haven't been killing anything, so you only have 20 HP. Legendary Hero, if you want to uh, buy that, that does increase your attack in battle. Um, but I that's. Four nine, so. Yeah. Well, if you go. Um, I think you can sell some stuff to. You wouldn't let me sell anything? Well, not him, but. Yeah. Then. So where's this bad guy at? He's back the other way. <laughs> no. So I can't sell it? I think you have to talk to him. Oh, that guy from the store? Yuck, what a creep. Yeah, he's a creep. He's kind of cute, too. Come on, Gaddy. Do you have any standards? Nope. <laughs> okay, like, the annoying thing is, he'd be okay if he was just treated, if he just treated us with some respect. But he just acts really weird. And then he acts like it's our fault that you know, he acts that way. Like, when we asked him to get those glam burgers, he dropped them and ran away before we could even say anything. 
who were like going to share them. Really, I wasn't. <laughs> right, maybe you can't sell them to them. Yeah. Uh, so, is it on the left then? The uh, the boss dude, or is it going down? No, it's uh, going going back up through uh, the one area. But it, yeah, uh, it's, if you want to go to it right now, I mean, you could sell still sell those items and get I mean, some extra healing items. I mean, those healing items are still pretty good. I don't think I really have any. I mean, you just have the burnt key. pan. You have the uh, the heart lock of the burnt pan and the mystery key. I mean, you'll you should still be fine with what you have in your inventory right now. I doubt I'm gonna use more than four. All right, then go up. All the way up? Yeah. Oh. If you want to go ahead and fight Asgore. So, okay. So where am I going? Up the elevator. Still up. Yeah. Here. Yep. Go in that elevator. Get down this way. And down. go down. Down? Yep. Down, down, down. Oh, can I walk past that pillar? Yeah, you gotta walk. Oh, okay. I thought that was like a. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you earn. What's the XP? It's an acronym. Stands for execution points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. <coughs> Stands for level of violence. <laughs> A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you've never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you face, you strive to do the right thing. You refused to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right, we're all counting on you, kid. Good luck.
Now, if you want to, just in case you die, you can go back, and then you can save it, and then you won't have to go through all yeah, that speech you. again. <laughs> Good idea. I mean, I haven't died on a boss yet, but... No. There's always... Well, it's really just that one part where I was trying to get this armor, really. Yeah. There's a safe one. Oh, yeah, I forgot that that one was there. It's done here. Oh, that's the stairs. Mm hmm. Uh. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it <laughs> Yoda. <laughs> it's empty. You can't get to the other ones. Uh, okay. I'm guessing that would be mine, I guess. Well, I mean, your name and is Yoda. I'm guessing other ones were the previous humans. Yep. watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I? Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. do. When you are ready, come into the next room. <laughs> Level one. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> come yeah. on! They're like all over the place in here. It's, it's kind of dumb. How tense. And just think of it like a visit to the dentist. <laughs> I'm not doing it. And another one. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I see. This is it, then. Ready? I thought my heart was coming, I guess it would be ready. Strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. Seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. <laughs> Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. <laughs> I 
as Gore attacks. Tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Yeah, you might want to heal. <laughs> yeah, you're doing really bad. <laughs> You have to kill Asgore. So what, you tell me I have to fight then? Mm-hmm. It's the only thing you can do. You don't have an option to talk. If you notice, those are the same colors as the lasers. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're gonna make you again. <laughs> Lucky all those were on that side. <laughs> nice. So you, you should keep it. Which P was maxed out. Crab apple or the Clam Burger. 
You're getting there, though. Do I really need to kill him? I'm sure, I'm sure this would be where I stop or something. I can see your face! <laughs> Talking won't do any good. It says yeah. that. Yeah, but he was trembling. Ah. Uh, so that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then, I would destroy humanity. Let monsters rule the service in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. I'm sure everything I've done to hurt you. You would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best as we can. We can sit in the living room telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. <laughs> <laughs> we can be like, like a family. Oh, that's horrible. I can't believe she did that. Cause that was her, wasn't it? Or was it? There was a flower. I know that wasn't me. Yeah, it was fire. Okay. You idiot. You haven't learned a thing in this world. Kill or be killed. <laughs> what? It does this. This is actually part of the game. What? It's part of the game. Okay. This is the first time that it uh it happened with me. I was like, what the fuck happened? But this is what happens. Is this the same? This is different. No, hold on. Come on, game. Ah, oh, fuck. Come on. Alright, there it goes. Um. Okay. <laughs> this is actually what happens. Mm. You, you can move. F you. Finally erased. Howdy. It's me, Flowey. Flowey the Flowey. Hey, well, you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. 
without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. Boy, you've been empty for so I've been empty for so long. Feels great to have a soul inside of me again. Hmm, I can feel them wriggling. Aw, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. Still need one more. Before I become God. And then with my newfound powers. Monsters. Humans. Everyone. I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, and forget about escaping your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. So you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over and over and over. What? You really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Get ready for the biggest what the fuck is going on, boss. Okay. <laughs> Alright. You took a lot of damage. Yeah, I know. But it wasn't because of that, like you were yeah, you you were hit getting hit by everything. I know. I might have right. dodged a couple fines, but that's it. Oh no, wait for it to pop up on that. Come on. <laughs> Come on. There he goes. Did you really think I was gonna be satisfied? Killing you only one time. Oh. He's kind of creepy. He is.
Uh, for help? Give me help. Get the hands. No! That, that one's actually really hard to do when I'm all the way. Whoa, what the heck? It's like moved my car. He basically uses save states. Start the battle over again. Mm. There we go. Now you're really gonna die. Stupid OBS. Pushing different buttons. There you go. There you go. Oh, damn it! Start the whole thing over. All right, now remember, don't go too fast on this one. <laughs> well, you still gotta avoid the shoes. You're Press gonna. It. I pressed it. Jeremy's really enjoying this bit. <laughs> You're dying a lot. I am freaking hitting that action button. You're not hitting it in the proper spot. You're like going a little bit past it and then hitting the action button. What happened if you defeat me? Take it much slower with those ballet shoes. The trick is is to let you know, let the act button come to you, not go to it. Thank you. Actually, no, you didn't get to it in time. What? <laughs> you have a bit, you'll, you'll get it. You have a bit more HP than what you did earlier. This thing has happy endings. This is all that's left.
it this far. No, don't go up here. Just stay near the middle. You're doing very, very bad. <laughs> I thought I was doing really good. No, you are pushing it. Why is it not? Button? There was the fight button that, uh, that you spawned on. But didn't I already press it though? No. <sighs> Is my X button maybe screwed up? No, it shouldn't be. You're really that desperate. I mean, still continuing conversation. You sure it's not part of it? Yeah, see, the X button's fine. Well, sometimes it wasn't working. Sometimes you're pressing a different button. There you go. Okay. You gonna give me some health or something? Yeah. Alright. I'm not gonna get the rest. Next heart, finally. What the hell? Just gotta avoid the words. One of them should be an act that pops up. There. And I think the tapes. Nope, that is the words. Last heart? Um, <laughs> oh, this is not. Oh, he's the 
defense dropped to zero. up there yeah that's actually the uh, toby the creator's face <laughs> no no this can't be happening you you <laughs> you oh. idiot this world and you you're hopeless hopeless and alone golly that's right we're worthless friends can't save you now call for help I dare you cry into the darkness mommy daddy somebody help see what good it does you call for help Nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is going to get to see you die. <laughs> what? How'd you... Well, I'll just... What? Where are my powers? The souls? What are they doing? No, no, you can't do that. You're supposed to obey me. Stop, stop it. Stop. kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Hmm? Why? Why are you being so nice? 
nice to me. I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. How a flower runs, I do not know. Well, we never know. <laughs> you did it! Yay! Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Timmy! Timmy Chang. So, what would you think about it? Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. Not that hard. <laughs> Wasn't really. Like I said, the hardest part was getting the armor because it was so exhaustingly long. Yeah. I feel like the the final boss almost kind of was giving it to me because it, it would make sure I got almost to a certain health most of the time, and then it would activate phases. And well, stuff. I mean, it, well, yeah. I mean, look at uh, look at the damage that he deals. Now the only thing that's left is the true ending. Ring ring ring. ring. Hey yeah. Is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. Queen returned and is now ruling the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. Probably for the best, anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, the plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey. If you're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take. But we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? <laughs> here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention, human! I, the Great Papyrus. I'm now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Except, instead of fighting, we just water flowers. <laughs> so that's ever so slightly different. <laughs> and we're helping Dr. Alfie's with her research. She's going to find a way to get us out of here. Undyne is helping her too. Although, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion-inducing. I think Alfie still likes having her around. Uh oh. Hey, what are you up to, punk? Yeah. Please don't noogie the phone. Haha. <laughs> hey, who's in charge here? Me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard is totally disbanded. There's, uh, only one member now. But he's extremely good. <laughs> yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't noogie the skeleton. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm working as Alfie's lab assistant. We're gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh yeah, I'm, and I'm the gym teacher at the Queen's New School. <coughs> Did you know I can bench press seven children? Awesome, right? Hey. I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You're just doing what you had to. It's not your fault, he. Ah, darn it. I miss the big guy. Come on, Undyne, snap out of it. Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Doc uh, Alfie's is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. She can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey, wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. 
it took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So, wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll feel better knowing our trouble is worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the Queen. Hey, wait a second. Toriel, Toriel, do you wanna... Eh, she says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to, we wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. We have the mercy to spare you from her. We'll call back any time, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So, I hate to cut this short, but... Be seeing you, okay, buddy? Bye-bye for now. See ya, punk. Click. Click, click, bang. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes me you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends. But now, you probably never see them again. Not to mention how they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have had to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You have to load your save file and... Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alphys? Seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness. See you soon. And that's pretty much just reloading and then going back to talk to Alphys and all that. But that's just extra content. <gasps> yeah, that's, uh, that's Undertale. Underdale, Undertale without hurting a single soul. Yep. Without killing anything. Well, besides Asgore, but you have no, to. I, I didn't really kill Asgore, the fire did. Yeah. So, you can't put that on me still. Yeah. <laughs> plus, uh, plus, he's the only one that you're forced to attack. Mm -hmm. Well, in the uh, first playthrough, that is. Oh. First playthrough, yeah, uh, that's the only one that you have to kill. Second playthrough is a true ending. Are we gonna do a second playthrough? That's entirely up to you. I mean, it's, it doesn't matter if I hurt anyone or anything, does it? Yeah, it does. It does That's matter. the one that actually determines what you do. Like, if you want to go true pacifist and you don't kill anyone, there, there's different endings for this one, actually. Because, like, you can kill some, some smaller enemies, or you can go true, um, true violence route, which is just killing everyone. Yeah. And then there's true fat, a true pacifist where you don't kill anything. Mm. Which are, I've already done a true pacifist. I just think of the true ending. Mm -hmm. Yay! Alright. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed this playthrough of Undertale with me, the Amazing Stapler. <laughs> Stay tuned and we will have more videos. Hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this playthrough and let us know in the comments how you felt about this playthrough. Thanks for watching. I'm a little hungry. Bye bye. Bye.